Hey guys, it's Michelle. I'm getting back into doing toy videos again. Um, I got away from it for a while because I just haven't been able to grab the stuff to do it. But this one that I'm going to do right now um, is actually in the background of a lot of my videos. So I And I did get somebody talking about it not too long ago, so I thought I would show it to you. Anyway, this is the toy. I'm sure you've seen it behind me in videos before. Her name is actually Bitsy. That's the name that she came with. This is a Pooch Patrol. Um, released in 1990 by the Tonka Company. Uh, what Pooch Patrol was is there was three dogs. There's Bitsy, um, Scruffy, which looked like a bloodhound. He's a brown dog, and Rascal. He is a he could be a Scottish Terrier. He could be a mutt. He's gray. He's got this like little white fluff up on his face. But anyway, what they were was a patrol of dogs that would scare off ghouls and goblins and ghosts. So what you would do is like as you can see, he just she. This is the only female out of the three. Um, Bitsy, you know, your little friend you sleep with, your friend, you know, you hang out with your buddy here. Now you hear a ghost and you think there's a ghost coming while you're in bed late at night. <gasps> what do you do? You're too scared to get out of bed, right? Don't worry. Pooch Patrol is here to the rescue. So what they would do is like that. You could move their ears up and around. There is um, wire in the ears, but the wire doesn't really work that well. Um, I don't remember it ever working very well, but then again, this toy is over 20 years old now. Anyway, what you would do is you would push down the eyebrows like that so you get the angry face, but they don't really stay down very well, so you'd have to hold them like at least I did. I don't know how um, Rascal and Scruffy worked. And then you would take the jowls here and you'd push the jowls up like this to, you know, like dogs do when they're angry, like, like that. And it's supposed to scare off the ghouls and goblins. And then when they're all gone, like, go away, go away, don't you bother my human! Then everything's good, you push the eyebrows back up, you push down the jowls, and your buddy is normal again. Um, I got, I wanted this when I was a kid so bad because, like most children, I was afraid of the dark. And um, here, it shows you here around the ear, it says Pooch Patrol. Um, I was afraid of the dark, I gave my parents a very hard time about that, and when I saw Pooch Patrol, I had to have the Poodle Pooch Patrol to protect me at night. Um, it worked very briefly. And then uh, my brother was born, and then I didn't have no choice but not to be afraid of the dark because they weren't having any any of it for me anymore. Um, anyway, my mom had a poodle about the same color as this. Desi's not a mute. Uh, and her name was Gucci. Yes, yeah, she was named after the designer. Des, no, not now. Are you jealous that there was no Chihuahua Pooch Patrols at the time? Hmm? Not before you were high. Not before you were around. Anyway... Um, my mother had Gucci, and this reminded me of Gucci. And at the time, we only had poodles. So my mother is highly allergic to any dogs that shed. Poodles do not shed. And so we had a miniature poodle named Gucci. So that's why I got Bitsy. And uh, one of the few toys that actually did survive um, for my parents throwing them out. Uh, but it's still a really, for the age of this toy... It's in like really awesome shape. There's no rips or tears. Uh, her, she's not really pilled, if you know what I'm talking about, as far as her fabric. And she has been through the wash quite a few times. It has held up very well. Um, I really don't know much else to say. It's just that Tonka always made good quality toys. I wish my brother still had the original Tonka truck that was made out of completely metal. I know that they still do make the big Tonka trucks, but they're part plastic now too but I remember my brother had one of those huge dump trucks and they were made completely out of metal um, with rubber wheels so and if you guys have one of those still believe it or not they're worth a lot of money um, they are highly sought after by collectors but this was my pooch and Tonka toys like now looking at today's toys I really don't see I mean Tonka still does a lot of their trucks and stuff which will always be popular with boys and girls alike but I really don't see them getting into much stuff like this anymore. I would have to do some more research on it and find out for sure. But I haven't seen anything recently about that. But yeah, this is my Pooch Patrol Bitsy. And she sits in the back of my videos. And um, just one of those toys that I still love it. It's still... And you know what? I think even if this was released again in today's day and age, that it would still be a very popular, successful toy. I know after the original three came out that there was another... I think they were the same dogs, actually, but they were superheroes. They had capes and little masks on that they could be a regular dog or a superhero dog. I would have to, I, I'm more than positive they were the same dog. I think, like, it was Bitsy, 
Rascal and Scruffy, but they were superheroes now. I'm pretty sure I'm correct on that. I do remember there being superhero pooch patrols later on. But the originals I thought were awesome. But I really do think that this toy could still be done today. I think uh, if Tonka re-released Pooch Patrol and like even did different dogs like Chihuahua or um, Pitbulls, Rottweilers, like different breeds that are popular today or Dalmatia would be cool too. You know, like expand on the Pooch Patrol, like different breeds. I think that would be a lot of fun as well. So Tonka, something to think about because I mean, what kid isn't afraid of the dark? What kid isn't afraid of a bump in the night or scary stories? You know what I mean? And then, like I said, this did help me for a while. And then my brother was born and I didn't have a choice, but you, you stayed in your bed. You couldn't come out and be scared anymore. Um, this actually did bring me some comfort, believe it or not. I'm not sure that would work with all children, but I do think, like, it's kind of like a security blanket type of a thing, having something like this, or like a teddy bear, having that one item that um, just... What's the word I'm looking for? It brings your child comfort or peace. I'm not a parent, um... As you already know, I'm not a parent, um, but I have godchildren. I have become a godmother again recently, which I am very, very excited about. And Veronica, if you are watching, my dear, I am touched, more than touched. Um, I've known her since um, kindergarten, and um, yeah, I am beyond touched to be the godmother of her son. But I still think that something like this... Um, like for like a security type animal is a very good thing for kids to have because you we're, they all get scared it's a normal human emotion it's something that can't be prevented so to have something like this i think is still a good idea to have uh i think that's all i'd say about pooch patrol today what do you say bitsy bitsy wants a steak yes we'll go get you a steak Anyway, guys, I thank you for watching this. If you really do enjoy these toy videos, please let me know what you think down below. I do have an item coming in through eBay that I'm really excited about that I cannot wait to show you guys that I am personally very, very happy to get back. Um, it was, again, an item that was very difficult for me to find, but now that I've got it coming, I am more than excited about this, and I think you guys are going to be super stoked about this as well. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching, and... I don't even know what to say. Um, I love doing these kinds of videos. So if you do, I think a lot of you are here because of these toy videos. Let me know down below um, if there's a vintage toy that you remember or something like that that I may or my brother may have um, that I can do a review on for you. So I will see you all soon. We'll put Bitsy back where she belongs. And I'll talk to you later. See you guys. Bye.